Yahweh? I'm not asking if you know about him. I'm asking if you know him. There is a difference. What's the difference, you may ask? Let me explain. Everybody knows who the President of the United States is. But just because we know who he is, that doesn't mean we know him. We may know where he lives. We may know where he sits for his work. We may know those who are under him. But do we know him? Do we know his favorite color? Do we know his favorite food? Do we know what makes him mad? Do we know what makes him laugh? You see, knowing about someone doesn't mean you know them. It just means you know about them. It's the same with Yahweh. We may know where he lives. We may know those who are under him. But do we know him? What's the best way to get to know somebody? The best way to get to know someone is to spend time with them. That's how we make friends, right? Whether we go to their house, play games with them, or go to the park with them. The more time we spend with them, the more we get to know them. So then, the more time we spend with Yahweh, the more we will get to know him. But how do we spend time with Yahweh? Think about it. It's not like we can go to his front door to see if he can come out and play. So how do we spend time with him? There are two ways we can spend time with Yahweh. One, by reading the Bible. We can learn so much about him by learning how he walked and talked with others. And two, by praying to him. That's right, by spending time in prayer. But here's the thing. Praying is not just talking to Yahweh. Did you hear that? I'll say it one more time. Praying is not just us talking to Yahweh. Praying is talking with Yahweh. Have you ever talked to someone, but they really did all the talking? Whenever you tried to say something, they just interrupted and started talking again, as if they really didn't care about what you had to say. They only wanted to be heard. That's how some people treat prayer with Yahweh. They just do all the talking and never let him have a chance to talk back. I know, I know, you're probably thinking, well, how can we hear Yahweh speak to us? We may never hear his voice and that's okay. Yet, we should always make time to be quiet and give him the opportunity to speak to our hearts. When we do, he may bring us a verse to mind. He may give us the peace that we need in our heart about a situation. The whole point, though, is to give him the opportunity. That's what friends do, right? Did you know Abraham, the man who was called the father of the faith, was also called God's friend? That's right. A person just like us was called Yahweh's friend. James 2, 23, and the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness, and he was called God's friend. Wow, he was Yahweh's friend. Isn't that cool? To think that Yahweh, the maker of everything, could consider us as a friend. And it all starts with getting to know him, to make the time to get to know him. So, do you know God or do you just know about him? Start getting to know him today. Be like Abraham and be called a friend of God. We hope you've enjoyed this teaching. Remember, don't just listen to the word. Do what it says. That's the only way to grow. Until next time, shalom. Shalom.